In this tutorial, I will show you how we can create and record macros and save them to use in any workbook. You can have saved macros in the quick access toolbar or in the ribbon in any workbook you will be open. And we can test the both types of macros. Let's get started. Okay, so we will open the first uh, workbook with uh, the macro we would like to add to all our workbooks. It is this one to export all our URLs, so how it works. So if I will select everything and click on extract URL, we have here the URL. Okay, so let me remove it and then I will open completely new workbook. And here we have it. And what uh, we will do is to we will record a macro. We will go to Developer tab. If you do not have Developer, go to File Options, click on Customize Ribbon, and here you will see in main tabs you will see Developer by by this way. So you need to click on and then click on OK, and you will have here Developer. If it will not be appeared by any reason, also you can go to view and from here macro, uh, record macro as well, or scroll down and here from this button also you can click and record macro. So I will go to developer, record macro. The most important thing here is the name does not matter, but uh, the the store is very important because instead of this workbook we will use personal macro workbook by this way we can add it automatically to any new sheet or existing already and then click on ok when you click on ok the macro started the record so please don't carry what we will do because it is only to have the storage and we i will put here T and then stop recording and we'll open the Alt F11 Visual Basic Editor and here we see our personal project. So we click on this one and here we have our macro we just uh, recorded. So uh, I do not need it uh, so I can remove and go to our extract URL, copy this, Ctrl C, go to our module one and paste it here, Ctrl V. And I will change the name of uh, the code and it will be extract URL. And then click on enter and we have it and then click on save close remove this one and we can add it here in the ribbon by clicking down and go to more commands and from here select uh, the macros and we have here our extract URL and personal we will choose the personal because this one is only for this already opened workbook so we will use the personal add it here and we can modify we can change the name and put extract url for example and uh, change the icon instead of this one we can click for uh, this one for example and then click on ok and here we have it it we will test later and then the second way is to add here to one more tab. It is my favorite one because there we can all our macros we will have and we have we can add the description as well. So we right click here, customize the ribbon. We will go again to macros and we have here our personal macro extract URL and here we will create a tab we will create a new tab and click on it and name my macros for example any name you prefer and here's the first group we can name it and e extract extract 
and click on OK. And here in this group, we will add our code and we will rename it and it will be extract URL and can change any icon and add it here and let's see how it works and here we have our macros we can also move the top to click on it and move to the end and click on ok and it will be the last one we click on it and here we have the extract group and the first macro with extract url and to open another one let me close this we have already let me close it and i will open a new one which is remove text and here we go to visual basic editor alt f11 and we have here we remove the text with this code so i will copy it go to our personal books it is this one to our module and we can add a new module here we will click on it insert and module and here i will paste my remove text code and the name i change the name of the module it will be remove text text and blank as well it is and click on enter then save close and now what we will do we will add here it it as well so we can go to customize the ribbon and here we have already our macros we will add a new group and name it uh, remove remove and then in this group we'll find all macros and we have it is extract and this one is remove text and we will add it to this group we will click on it rename and to name it remove text and blanks and the name and let put any for example uh, this one and click on ok and go to our macros and we have these two groups and two macros and now let's test it and now let's open completely new workbook and let's uh, test our we have here our one code and here we have our two macros it's cool right so let's test it first of all we will remove text and blanks i will copy my text and blanks let me i will copy them and add to my new workbook and we'll close on and now let's test it let me copy it to have twice the yellow color is the text and we will remove it and the green color is the blank and we will remove it as well and we do not have any workbook open we have only one now so I select the full range, go to my macro and remove text and blank and click on here. And that's all. It's working, right? Okay, so let me remove this uh, as well. And the next one I will add and we will uh, paste here any, any links, right? So for example, Let me go back to our extract URL and we have them here and 
I can select them and click on extract URL and we will copy this and go and paste it here and let me see if the links is copy but it's not right so I need to paste them here and I will go it and and select one by one okay now I will close it so we have only this workbook opened I will copy it in order to not lo lose it and I select everything and we will try the first one we have here and it's it's done it's great right so we can double click and we have that everything is selected great right okay let me remove this one and select and try the second macro and uh, extract URL and here it is cool right and that's all thank you for watching